Hello everyone, I'm Erica Pitsy of jackcotton.com and I'm here with luxury real estate expert, author, and agent Jack Cotton. And we're talking today about the 12 luxury showing no-nos. This is a big deal. Yes, Erica, it's a great big deal because you know in my four decades plus of showing luxury real estate, I've noticed a lot of things that take place during a showing that really shouldn't happen, that really take away from the showing, that really can turn off a buyer, even if it's a subtle little thing. And so I took the 12 worst things I've seen and I put them together in a little PDF book and people can get a copy of that just by going to my website, jackcotton.com, and they can, um, they'll get it by return email. But we're gonna cover these points two at a time over the next couple of weeks for people to really understand what they should never do when they're showing a property. All right, so let's talk about it. number okay. one no-no, what is it? Don't park in the best spot. Don't park in the best spot. Because again, as we mentioned last week, people need to feel like they're coming home. Not that they're interlopers, not that they don't belong here, not that this is not really their house. So you need to leave the best place in the driveway for them to park. You have 90 seconds. People are going to form an impression in 90 seconds, mm -hmm. whether they feel comfortable, whether they like this home, whether they can imagine themselves walking up to the front door. So you don't want them parked across the street or down the road or in a, in a bad place. What I've also found is that you cannot count on the buyer agent to understand that you left them the best place to park. So when you're confirming the appointment with the buyer agent, let them know, by the way, Erica, I left the best place in the driveway for you and your client to park because you all want you to feel like you're coming home. So be sure to park right by the front door because that's for you. Makes sense. Yeah. 90 seconds. That's not a lot of time to make a first impression. Well, guess what? We're not talking about the internet today, but there you have like two seconds. So at least when you're walking yeah. up the front True. door, you have a little bit more time to, to engage the people. But they really are forming impressions about that house even before they get out of the car. So you want them to park in the best possible spot. Don't take the best spot for yourself. Okay. Number two no-no. Number two no-no is don't say anything that you wouldn't want the seller to hear. Or, as I like to say, pretend the seller is there. Remember we talked about before, you don't want the seller here, but pretend the seller is here and don't say anything that you wouldn't want the seller to hear. Makes sense? It makes sense. Yeah. But you've seen people actually do that. So it's like you really do have to advise people to make sure they watch what they say. Well, yeah. You know, <laughs> people always say, well, why are they selling? Well, he just got, you know, 10 years and, you know, the sentence starts in a month. So, I mean, you oh, don't goodness. want to be, you never that's know. the kind of stuff you don't want to be saying during a show. So don't say anything you would want the seller to hear about their house. You never throw your seller under the bus. You know, never apologize for the price, even if it's a high price. Just don't say anything you wouldn't want the seller to hear. Because guess what? These days with technology, they could be. They could be. I mean, I've had, um, I've had agents tell me about sellers where they have the home camera systems, and they go down the street with an iPad and watch the whole showing. Oh boy. So we're in a different world now. Long before that, we always pretended the seller was here. So those are the two important things to cover today. Don't take the best spot and don't say anything you wouldn't want the seller to hear. All right. And of course, we'll stay tuned for more of the luxury showing no-nos. But for more advice from our expert, head to luxuryrealestateunplugged.com.